thanks to Nucleum by Kingston for sponsoring this video. Smartphone design hasn't changed that much over the past few years. Bezels have gotten a little bit thinner, display technology's gotten better, but we haven't seen that giant leap forward that we've seen in previous years. That is until now, and it's due to the clear ID sensor from Synaptics, and it might not mean much to you. What the technology does is something we've been dreaming about for years and been rumored about for even longer. It puts a fingerprint reader under your display and I've got it here and I've got it working. So it's working on a Vivo phone. Some version of this is eventually going to hit the market, probably not in the US, but the technology here is absolutely incredible. All right, so first, just as a, as a geek, it's incredible to actually see this working in a prototype that surprisingly let me set up and try and it worked as advertised. So the unlock time is like 0.7-ish seconds. It's about 40% slower than what you see with just normal fingerprint readers. But to the end user, I didn't notice much of a slowdown at all. So let me tell you how this magic essentially works. So the sensor is sitting below the display and if you catch it in the right light, you can actually see it down towards the bottom. It's set at an angle that they told me was for improved accuracy and speed. It's barely there, but it's kind of cool to see it. And because it's under the screen, you can do a lot with design. You don't have to worry about taking up a chunk of space with a fingerprint reader on the front. On the back of devices, you can make things look more elegant, use different materials, put in bigger battery, put generally other components because you don't have to worry about trying to find a spot for that sensor. But because there's an actual spot for it, software kind of comes into play. So as the phone moves or you pick it up, it detects that you want to unlock it, it's going to illuminate essentially where you should put your finger. Put your finger right there and it unlocks. And the rest of how it works seems kind of pedestrian, which I think is the point. It works the way all your fingerprint readers work now. Setup was very simple. Unlocking it is very simple. But it looks like magic when you turn your phone off and the screen is blank and you know there's a fingerprint reader actually under there. So to the simple answer of how this works, it's actually going through the pixels on the OLED panel, so it's optical. It's different to what we're gonna see from Qualcomm later on in the year. It's gonna use some ultrasonic technology to do similar things, but this is here and right now. I could geek out a lot more about the technology, but as a fan of smartphones and what they represent, this is a gigantic leap forward. This is the stuff of science fiction a few years later in the palm of my hand. Hopefully we'll see this technology make it to a ton of more smartphones in 2018. So this video wouldn't be possible without Nucleum. We've actually been using this a ton at CES. It adds way more functionality to new MacBook and MacBook Pros with USB-C. So the big thing, it adds seven ports. Seven ports are things that you need, USB-A, an extra USB-C port, uh, SD card readers, and more. And most importantly, I think, at least to us, is you can use all seven ports at once. It's color matched to the MacBook. It's a must-have accessory if you've got one of these new computers. It's one dongle and one cable that just adds way more functionality than you get right from Apple. If you want to learn more, I'll link to it down below. So what do you guys think? Are you as excited as I am? Are you pumped? Do you prefer some sort of other biometrics to unlock your phone? This is an incredibly elegant solution. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Of course, subscribe and hit the little bell icon to get notified when more CES videos are coming your way. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'm holding the future. They're not going to take it from me.